am honored to co-sponsor Dr. Mark Swinkowski as a 2020 AOA Pillar of Orthopedic Surgery. Dr. Swinkowski has demonstrated exemplary leadership throughout his career. He serves as a role model and a mentor to me and many, many other orthopedic surgeons. And he has advanced and continues to advance the orthopedic surgery pr profession through his dedication, leadership, and research. He advocated for me in my career, coaching me to be a full professor with tenure. Why settle for less? With significant support and shared values, he embraced and led the residency program for changes that were needed. Grand rounds on the weekday rather than on the weekend. Resident in-house call was no longer allowed. Residents were able to take call from home. And he had a focus on diversity in choosing not just from the old boys club, but providing a workforce that would be diverse to come into the 20th century. He was then the CEO of our TRIA Orthopedic Center and has gone on to be the Editor-in-Chief of JBJS since 2014. Dr. Swinkowski has been an AOA member since 1991. He was a North American Traveling Fellow in 1985, an ABC Fellow in 1989, and in 2006 he was elected President of the AOA. In 2015, he received the AOA's Distinguished Contributions to Orthopedics Award. Dr. Swinkowski sponsored me to become an AOA member and has been integral to my career and the career trajectory of hundreds of other orthopedic surgeons. Dr. Swinkowski's legacy of education, research, clinical, and leadership excellence has established him truly as a pillar of orthopedic surgery. Congratulations, Mark. Mark came to uh, Nashville to Vanderbilt um, as his first job and he completely um, transformed the way we did care there. He, he um, was a real um, mover and shaker, I guess. He revolutionized, I guess you would say, trauma care, especially in the Southeast, and he, uh, he changed everything. Mark was always on a higher road than everybody, and he always did what was right for the patients. And so if it was something he would have done to himself, um, it was something we were doing for the patients, that's for sure. So uh, he, he transformed everything and uh, really hooked me into my career so uh, that that's why I have such uh, strong feelings for him is a pillar uh, because he's iconic and he's iconic because of just the person that he is and the career that he's had he had a transfer transformational career that allowed um, the field of trauma to really expand greatly and he set a standard with his clinical work uh, he's a marvelous surgeon and then with his research which was uh, very, very advanced, especially in the late 80s. The research that he was doing was extremely advanced and it was in a field or a component of orthopedic trauma that most people didn't want to take care of. And so he was attacking a problem that was a real problem because nobody really wanted to deal with it. And he was attacking it in a very scientific way, which really uh, stood out to us. And then from a mentoring standpoint, uh, I think he taught us all um, how to be a mentor, or at least he set the standard, the platinum standard for us uh, who are trying to, to pay it forward the things that he taught us. So, um, you know, he was always encouraging everyone to, uh, he could get uh, the best out of people. He could really uh, accentuate whatever it was that you did best. But one of the things that was unique about Mark is he, he could accentuate your weakness. It's important for people to realize that um, Mark is a, pillar that has no peer. Uh, he's done everything in his career, you know, in a zone that allowed people to uh, try to emulate him. And a lot of us have tried to emulate him. He's just really hard to emulate because uh, he does everything well. I was uh, program chair for Jody Buckwalter's uh, annual meeting, which occurred uh, in North Carolina. I was a member of the board of directors uh, for one year period of time. I was a member of the critical issues uh, committee and uh, chaired that committee uh, and subsequently was a uh, president of the AOA from 2005-2006. I've been a member of the Own the Bone Committee chaired it initially, uh, and then um, I continue to be a member uh, ex officio capacity of the Own the Bone Committee.
I have been the Editor-in-Chief of the Journal of Bone and Joint Surgery since 2014. Uh, I have been uh, a member of the editorial board as a deputy editor for about 15 years prior to that. Uh, the AOA founded the Journal of Bone and Joint Surgery over 130 years ago, and JBGS remains the official publication of the American Orthopedic Association. When people ask me about uh, how the two organizations are interrelated, what I tell them is that AOA members are our reviewers, they are our authors, they are our editorial board members, and essentially are basically the, the guts of the workings of the Journal of Bone and Joint Surgery. I would say my greatest impact is on some residents and fellows who I have had some influence in their careers. Very much like to thank all the people who have made contributions. Uh, I'm deeply honored by your willingness to, to provide resources which will go to very good causes to advance the programs of the American Orthopedic Association. And a special thanks uh, to uh, Ann Van Heest from our department. Uh, Ann is a partner who I have worked with since uh, coming to the University of Minnesota over 20 years ago. She is a outstanding orthopedic surgeon and educator and researcher who has made a huge improvements on orthopedic education here locally and nationally, uh, and has been a role model for so many uh, women coming into orthopedic surgery. Uh, Anne is really the ultimate uh, triple threat and a great friend. And for Chip, um, he has always been at the top of my favorite list of trainees since he and I met when he was a resident at Vanderbilt. Uh, well, that must have been uh, 1986, I believe, 85, 86. And Chip uh, has had a profound impact on the field of orthopedic surgery. Uh, my partner for over nine years at Harborview Medical Center and uh, his uh, influence on, in particular on the, the care of acetabular and pelvic fracture is uh, without comparison, in my opinion. And uh, I truthfully have never seen um, a better uh, educator of uh, residents and students uh, than uh, Chip, uh, an outstanding physician and a role model for so many uh, worldwide. I am as enthusiastic about being an orthopedic surgeon as I was the day I opened the envelope on match day uh, in 1979 and learned I would become an orthopedic surgeon. I think we are the most fortunate of all.